Hallo Leute und willkommen zurück zu Genshin Impact. Ähm, Im letzten Kapitel der... Ich kann es nicht aussprechen. Ja, zusammen mit Eike. Hallo Eike. Mal wieder. Hey. Yeah. Wow, er ist wieder da. Dadurch wird der Kommentar wieder gut. Vielleicht. Ein Scheißdreck wird er das. Ja. Wird zumindest dazwischen gerät, weil ich wieder stumm bin und monologisiere. Where did it go? I put it right here. Hey, Zosimos! What you up to? Oh, it's you two. YouTube. Oh. Ja, nein, ich denke da immer an die Band. Hello, hello. Nee, wie war's nochmal? Yeah, yeah, hello, hello. yeah, yeah. Please, come here. Feast your eyes on this stage. I designed it myself. Toll. So, directors have to design the stage too? Eigentlich nicht. <lacht> I'm no ordinary director. I take a more holistic approach. Directing, script writing, stage design, I do it all. Ich mich an die Rede aus diesem einen Zeichentrickfilm mit Daffy Duck. Ich möchte mein Manager Daffy Duck. Meine mein Gardrobiere. Sounds like a lot of work. Idea wouldn't be able to handle that kind of job. Idea has her work cut out for her too, you know. She's my one and only member of the audience. Though she often criticizes my shows. Wie kann sie es wagen? Well, she just says what she thinks. You don't know how to write or this is getting ridiculous. Huh. I think it's because I use preprints in a way that she feels goes against what they're intended for. But even though she's my harshest critic, she's also been my biggest supporter in a lot of ways. I guess you could say she's like my agent. I'm very grateful to her. I've always dreamed of being a director, but I've never had the chance until I came here. So, what did you do before you came here? Like I said, I dreamed. <laughs> das ist so eine Art, äh, wie heißt das, Traumlandenummer? Er hat einfach geträumt und ist hier gelandet? From a young age, every time I came home after a show, I'd go over the story again and again in my mind. Growing up, my biggest aspiration was to be a director. Unfortunately, I couldn't offer much beyond my practical skills. So I ended up spending most of my time as a prop designer and doing a bit of set design on the side. Don't get me wrong, I do love building the set, but nothing satisfies me more than putting on my very own show. No wonder you only wrote director on the sign. <laughs> exactly. You're not doing a great job of convincing me that you're not a mind reader. By the way, could I ask you for your help with something? I'm having trouble finding the master script, and I'll need it shortly. The one you only just finished writing? You lost it already? Yeah. After I handed everyone their copies, I held on to my master copy while I was checking on everything around the theater. I must have dropped it somewhere. If it's not here, then it might be in the attic. These are the only two places I've been since I finished writing it. But, ah, uh, I still have some things to do to get the stage ready. Would you two mind having a look for me? Ja, ich habe ja gerade Zeit. No problem, we'll find it. Hier zu Dachkammer. Okay, dann suchen wir die Seiten. The thicket board's mechanism should be functioning. Hmm, let's see. There's the lights. Oh, and the microphones. So der Mikrofon, ich dachte, das ist ein Theaterstück. Ja, gut, dann suchen wir jetzt die Seite, nicht wahr? Ja, gut, ich kenne das ja bereits. Ich war Ecke? Ja, ja. Bart's Nightmare haben wir auch. Da ging es auch um Seitensuchen. Wo wir da ein bisschen geschummelt haben mit, äh, mit Safe States. Aber das muss man machen, weil ein Maggie Tempel, der einfach nur. Ah, ist. Welches Spiel? Bart's Nightmare, du weißt schon, das Spiel, das nicht so gut Was ist. Das? Ja, dass nicht, Leute nicht so gut finden, weil es leider eins von diesen Spielen, wo man die Anleitung wo du immer muss. wieder die, Wo du immer wieder die Rückspulfunktion einstellen musstest, weil du das auf deinem Xbox-Controller jedes Mal versemmelt hast. Ja. Ich weiß. Warte mal, wie komme ich denn da jetzt hoch? Wo ist die Treppe? Ach so. Die Treppe, da ist doch ein Hochzieher. Ja, Hochzieher. Aber wir konnten eine da schon... Eine Laserliane. Ja, eine Laserliane. Damit man sich Animationen spart. Laserlane. Ähm, ja, aber zumindest konnten wir damit äh, Shiro ein bisschen über Simpsons äh, Trivia stacken. Weißt du das doch? Ja. 
Okay, wo Und ist ich habe euch auch, ich habe euch auch Spezialfragen gestellt. Die schon kann es sein, dass du aufredet? Ich will nicht wissen, wie du in dem Let's Play ohne mich gespielt hast. Also spielerisch war es ganz okay. Aber Commentary war es am Anfang noch ein bisschen so... Naja. Sogar Paimon sagt dir sogar, wo du hin sollst. Ja, ich sehe es ja sogar. Ich meine, noch um sicher geht es ja nicht. Und der, das letzte Kapitel mit der Lampe in den, in den die Zirkus, Zeit das war... Naja. Da ist sogar noch eine Sidequest aktiv. Ich Hier weiß. Eine Sidequest. Du hast die ganzen Minispiele nicht gemacht. Ja, aber die machen wir ja offscreen. Ich habe ja Zeit. Wir hatten Pilze, nein, wir hatten Sahnenmenschen, dann hatten wir Pflanzen und dann äh, die Aranaris, meine ich, und jetzt haben wir Wassertröpfchen. Warte mal, wer gerade schmatzt. Ja. Weil er sich wieder nicht die Zähne geputzt hat. Aha, so geht das also. Wir gehen von dick nach dünn. This is the only script that fits the bill. Plus it looks pretty new. This must be the master script. Let's go give it to Director Zosimos. Zosimos, we got your script. Das ist das falsche Skript. Geht aber hoch und hol mal die letzten. Immer wieder ein neues. Ah, thank you. That's a huge help. Ah, I'm running out of time here. There's no way I'll be able to fix everything up perfectly. We may just have to wing it. Anyway, the stage is secondary. The performance is what really matters. Things can always go wrong on stage. But as long as the show goes on, it should be fine. You don't sound very confident in what you're saying. It's true. I realize now that a show is the art of the unknown. Even if you have the same actors performing on the same stage, the performance will be slightly different every time. Those subtle differences are what make each performance special. Das ist wohl auch der Vorteil von Theaterstücken, was? Ja, hab ich das eigentlich erzählt, Eike, dass mal Theaterstück von Mina von Barnhelm, heißt das so? Eike? Geht schon nicht quatschen zwischen den Dialogen. Ja, okay, dann <lacht> nach dem Dialog erzähle ich dann, was ich Quatsch dann meine. Quatschen nur, wenn man rumläuft. Ja, das passt. Klingt so, das überzeugt mich so recht. Ah, uh, okay. One last okay, request. Das während der anderen Dialoge auch Traveler, gemacht. you can enter the preprints, yes? B, du bist in Schwafeln gefallen. Ein bisschen, aber ich gebe dir Geld dafür. Ja, dann kannst du das alles schneiden. Ja, ja, ja. The truth is that my sets are composed entirely of preprints. The first... I use materials to make the objects. Then I take those objects and turn them into the preprint. Ah, wieso hast du dich letztens gesagt, Eike, man soll die äh, Fehler off, off, offline, nee, online zeigen, damit man daraus lernt? Nein, weil du sie immer wieder machst. Irgendwann muss man damit aufhören. Irgendwann muss man dann schneiden, weil das, das tut dir am meisten weh, weil du schneiden hast. Now, of course, preprints are really meant for making objects to furnish the domain. So using objects to create preprints is, is, strictly speaking, the reverse of what this is intended for. But Idea said that if this is what I really want to do, she's not going to stand in my way. Ah, so that's what you meant earlier. Okay, well, what do you need us to do? I'd like the Traveler to go into the preprint set and help move props around during the performance. Oh, das kennen wir ja bereits. The reason is... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Paimon gets it now. If you're busy directing, moving the props, and operating all the mechanisms, you never get the chance to watch the show. Yes, I know that I'm no master playwright, but still, even if it really is a half-baked script, with shoddy writing and moments of sheer ridiculousness, I'd still like to see it for myself. Just once. Ja, man muss ja auch mal sehen, anschauen, was man gemacht hat, damit man weiß, ah, okay, das hat geklappt und das hat nicht geklappt. Hard to turn a guy down after a speech like that. Thank you. Genuinely, I'm so grateful. I'll go and inform the others. Then, as soon as you're ready, the show can begin. 
Okay, führe die Darbietung durch. Ach so, ja, jetzt kommt hier die äh, Limbo 2D Spielnummer. Das haben wir ja bereits gekannt. Mit dem Bündelichtwerfer. Was? Das ist neu. Long, long ago, there was a great thief. He lived in a land where the light did not shine, where all suffered in the darkness. People call me. Sorry, Kaya. Directly into the microphone, please. Otherwise, your voice will, you know. Okay. <clears throat> They call me the Dagger Bandit, but no one sees that I rob the rich and give to the poor. Here in the dark, evildoers run rampant in the shadows, while the good, honest folk stumble blindly on, just trying to find a way through. As the bandit brooded, suddenly the world was inexplicably changed as a single star appeared on the horizon and flew across the sky. Traveler, stomp on that movement mechanism in front of you. Ja, ich bin auch drauf. Light. A brief flash, yet enough to illuminate the world. If I can find the source of that light, I can shine it into the darkness, and the people will suffer in blindness no longer. Das muss für den Kay aber ganz neu sein, so zu tun, als wenn man ein Schauspieler wäre. Without a moment to spare, he set off to follow the star's course. All the while, the star kept moving through the sky. Um, Traveler, the star kept moving through the sky. Und weiter. Tschüss. Hört mich so ein bisschen an Augsburger Puppenkiste von Bewegung her. Looks like I have to go through the desert. This could get dangerous. If everything he'd heard Let's was to be believed, dangerous. the desert ahead was a no man's land filled with horrors. Worse still, the star had landed in the most difficult to reach location, surrounded by sheer cliffs. But he was determined to press onward. I've come this far, and I'm not about to turn back now. Ach ja, und wer wissen, was das auf Deutsch ist? Darkwing Ducks 21 Risiko. Ich denke, die Leute kennen das. The Dagger Bandit trekked deep into the desert wasteland. Yet when he finally arrived at his destination, he found not a fallen star, but a young girl dressed in white. How strange. Wer könnte das nur sein, ne? Young lady, do you know where the light has gone? The girl replied. Traveler from afar, the light you seek is only a bottled flame. But the flame has now died, and its light is long gone. A uh, bottled flame? Yes, it was a gift from another. And so, the girl began to gedacht. tell the story of how the bottle came into her anderes. possession. Das sieht man ja im Gesicht, ne, wer das ist. The girl hailed from a kingdom that sat atop the waterfalls. But when the reigning dynasty fell and a new one seized power, she and her people fled for their lives. A thick fog began to fill the air as she made her way through the forest, and dense thickets tried to block her path. There is a mechanism down there that you can press to retract the thicket board below the stage. Jetzt. Bevor jemand fragt, ja. das ist die, wie bei allen, wie bei allen Sommer-Events, den Golden Apple Archipelagos, allen beiden, wo wir Nahidas Stimme gehört haben, während, während der Funksprüche mit diesem Funkgerät und im ersten Teil, wo wir mal, im ersten Jahr, wo wir mal Mango Kenki begegnet sind, dem Boss, der dann für Kasua war. Ja, ja, der Puppen, äh, Puppensamurai. 
ist jedes Event natürlich ein gewisses Ding, das ist ein, das ist ein bisschen Lore für das, nächste, für das nächste Gebiet geben soll. Für Sumeru, für Inazuma und jetzt für Fontaine. Jetzt kann man natürlich sagen, dass das die Hintergrundgeschichte der Okaniden ist. Weil es ist ja mittlerweile irgendwie deutlich klar, dass alle diese Leute da äh, Tröpfchen sind. Nur dass nur die, die wie heißt sie nochmal? Idia. Idia ähm, der Okanide ist. Genau, Idia, Rodea, enden alle mit A. Das wollte auch erklären. Falls jemand, falls jemand nicht weiß, wer Rodea ist, Rodea ist die Okanide, die die, die ganze Zeit am Quatschen ist. Hm. Das würde auch erklären, weswegen die alle blaue Augen und blaue Haare so haben. So much to ask for. Ja. Das sind, alles, das sind alles programmierte Tröpfchen. Die sind nicht. Das waren Menschen. Aber oder sind das sind Menschen, die da in der kann, die da in der, der in dem Ding gewesen sind, aber die hat Rodea programmiert als sozusagen Traumperson. Aber yeah. ich spoiler hier gerade die ganze Story weg. Ich Aber mittlerweile eine. ist das Event so alt, die Leute sollten das jetzt schon kennen. Also ist meine Theorie, die ich im Kopf habe, also falsch? Welche? Dass die drei Brüder in der Wüste, als sie ohnmächtig geworden sind, sind sie gestorben. Und das sind eher hier eure Was? Abbilder. Nein, die sind ganz normal abgezischt. Die kannst du sogar finden in der Welt. Ach so? Und das kann sogar einige Jahrhunderte her sein. Das wäre möglich. So, weiter? Ja, weiter. Ich wollte schon immer Stuntman, äh, nee, Quatsch, Stuntman, äh, Special Effects Mann sein. If I only had a lamp to guide me through this wretched forest, then I could survive. With scratches covering her arms and legs, the girl pressed through the pain and made her way forward. The road ahead was arduous, but she was determined to press onward. I've come this far, and I'm not about to turn back now. But, just as she was drawing near her destination, a huge stretch of thorns and brambles suddenly came into view. Despair set in and began to weigh on her heart. If only someone could help me, I would give anything in return. Ja, ich bin doch schon The dabei. girl's heartfelt wish in her moment of desperation did not go unheard. Wait, wait, wait! There's no mechanism for the final thicket! Ugh, I must have forgotten to check those boards. According to the story, those thickets should be gone from the stage now, right? Yes, total oversight on my part. Ugh, what a pain. I can help! Traveler! Catch! What? Oh. Fangs nicht. Ah, it's a jumpy dumpy! <laughs> The girl's heartfelt wish did not go unheard, for a Jumpy Dumpty, who was passing by, helped to clear a path for her. Oh, thank you, Jumpy Dumpty. Das ist meine kreative Lösung. And so the girl continued her journey deeper into the forest. But what she found there was not a lamp, but a mage glowing with fire. So, just to clarify, it was supposed to be the mage who helped burn a path through the thicket. <laughs> Save it for the end, man! The mage took pity on the girl and handed her a bottle. Then, the mage began to tell the story of how the bottle came into her possession. The fiery mage had an adventurous spirit and enjoyed taking long journeys. On one such journey, while taking rest in an oasis, she found a beautiful bottle by a crescent-shaped lake. Klee, quick, get in the light. Lass mich raten, deswegen... Hey. Ja, ja. She was an extraordinary mage with the power to grant people their wishes. She turned the bottle into a thing of equally extraordinary power. 
But the only place that it could make wishes come true was inside of the bottle. Oh, ja, das ist Alice. oh my, look at this wonderful bottle of mine. It could make a fine toy. But better still, a sojourner's home. The fiery mage blew into the bottle, allowing it to grant one single wish outside its glass walls. Oh, am I supposed to blow into it? <sighs> wow, it lit up. A flame was kindled within the bottle, and it began to glow a fiery red, just like the mage herself. Ah, geh ins Licht. After the mage finished telling her story, she disappeared, leaving only the bottle behind. A magic bottle that can grant wishes. And I wish to leave this place and go somewhere where no one will ever find me again. And then? The bottle seemed to softly inquire. Und weiter? I don't know. The flame in the bottle faded as the girl's single wish was granted, and she found herself in the middle of the desert, far away, where no one could ever find her. Jetzt wissen wir, wie die Flasche, äh, Flasche entstanden ist, wie zwei die Sphäre. When the dagger bandit listened to her story, he sighed in disappointment that the flame with the power to grant wishes outside of the bottle had already died. But this doesn't make sense. If it truly granted my wish, then nobody should have been able to find me here. Maybe they shouldn't. The desert is difficult and dangerous to navigate, but I was determined to make it, no matter what. Then take this bottle with you for your trouble. It may be able to grant you your wish. Though sadly, only within the confines of the bottle itself. All I wish for is light. Honoring the bandit's request, the girl wished for light inside the bottle. And sure enough, it lit up. They found that while the light was only generated within, it could nonetheless shine through the glass and reach anywhere in the outside world. Even though it doesn't burn as brilliantly as the light that shone before, this is still an extraordinary light. What will you do after I take the bottle? I don't know. Well, then maybe you should come back with me. With no reason to refuse, the girl accompanied the dagger bandit back to the land where the light did not shine. They brought light to that place, and the darkness was dispersed, and they lived happily ever after. Classica.